All right, so what I've been doing here has been sanding with 220 grit sandpaper. That's that roll that's over there by the towel. And no, that is not mustard, that is water. All right, so I'm back inside. It's kind of getting a little bit too hot outside. It's supposed to be pretty bad all week. And with a high humidity, possible rain too. We don't know yet. Seems like every time they say it's gonna rain, it doesn't. But anyways, I'm kind of glad I'm back inside because like I said before, fluorescent lighting can kind of either make you or break you on a finish, especially if you're doing wet sanding and buffing. Now, I did notice a little bit of, even though you can see a nice you know, reflection of the lighting that is above me. Uh, you know, I got some LEDs over the counter over here so I can see what I'm doing a lot better. But I did notice that there are some minor scratching going on a little bit like over here. You know, some of the smaller areas where I kind of are a little bit tighter, I probably like maybe was a little bit too light on the sandpaper. Probably should have gone a little bit uh, in those areas a little bit longer. 
So what I want to do is I want to kind of give this thing a another wet sanding and probably just with 1500 grit go over it and uh, you know smooth it out a lot better than what it is. That's one nice thing about you know doing uh, doing a buff job where once it's buffed out, not to a high gloss, but at least to the first stage, you can kind of see some of the areas that are uh, you know been neglected and need a little bit more work. So what I'm going to do is start taking care of that now, which is not a big deal because any anybody who does finishing work you know runs into something like this. So it's not a big deal. Just prolongs things a little bit that's all so I'm gonna go ahead and start hitting this thing with some 1500 on a block and where's my 15 that is 2500 there it is there's the 1500 so I'm just gonna go over a little bit and kind of smooth things out try to stay away from the edges as much as possible After I get done doing it with the 15, I will go with the 25 and 3000. I'm not just going to do just the areas that uh, seem to be a little bit on the bad side. I want to go over the whole thing so it still has a nice even. See like over here. And in between here, there's a little bit of more scuffing than I want after buffing. Oh, would you look at this? <laughs>